Welcome back to Straight Facts by Denard Investor. Good morning, guys. Welcome back. With regular news, I usually just do the automated side of that because you guys, that's just basic news. To me, that news does not impact or really pertain to the rate change. So that's why I don't get involved in that. I don't even focus on that type of news myself. But it just gives you guys a chance. If you're concerned, you can see what's happening and what's going on in Iraq with general news. It doesn't hurt to know what's going on around you. On the more critical news that really impacts the rate change, that's where I try to jump in, help you guys add comments, thoughts, and put comments to it. So with that said, we all want to know, what are we waiting on? What is the rate change waiting on? What steps does the rate change need for the rate change to occur? Okay. So with that said, not one person knows every required step needed for the rate change. And sometimes news changes, brand new additional news comes out, which can actually change the, our current thoughts and, and, you know, cause things to change from the way we were studying can cause it to the, our studying could to go and change a different direction and add brand new stuff to it that, that can actually set us back and cause us to wait longer. Okay. So I just want to stress that to you that things can change. Things shared with you are not set in stone. It's, it's, it's all, you, you have to work with what, with the information and news you have available at that time. Okay. Now, Let's let's look at what Iraq has done through the year of 2019. Through 2019, from January through June, Iraq was setting the rate change stage for the country. They were putting together trade agreements, reconstruction agreements, and so forth to get everything prepared for the country. Then, in starting in July, through where we're at now, they started really more setting the stage for the citizen pertaining to the rate change. And and now they're even going another direction where they're getting all the money put in place, okay? Regarding the, um, with the citizens, you know, they, Kurdistan and Baghdad have been meeting to get everything dialed in and agreed upon pertaining to the 2020 budget, the numbers and math and dollar or allocation amounts within the 2020 budget for both Article 140, HCL, and so forth. Okay, and additional items. Now, okay, so so once they get everything done for, you know, where they get the stage set for the country, stage set for the citizens, okay, they still have to get the money ready to go, and the money, the money has to be allocated and be ready to be dispersed. Those steps have to come from a budget. Okay, so here's my point to you. They cannot disperse or cut Article 140 checks or oil and gas HCL checks to the citizens, guys, unless that budget is done because that money is allocated and those checks are cut from the allocations of the budget. Okay, so my point to you is this. We are waiting for the approval of the 2020 budget. It has to be approved because that's when the rate changes, that's where, and then see, we just learned from an article I posted Monday to Tuesday, they came out and said that the budget now actually will have um, reconstruction money in it. And it's also linked to economic reform. Okay. So, so my, so now there's even reconstruction funds inside. So basically guys, what they're telling you is the 2020 budget is linked to the rate change big time. It's got a lot of financial allocations and monies for it of items that pertain strongly to the rate change. So they have to complete the budget before the rate can change. It's that simple. All right. Now let's, let's look at the previous budgets, okay? The 2018 budget was approved. It, they kind of started it around November of of the uh, of the of the starting point around November and then they completed it around the uh, beginning of March, okay? 
the 19 budget, they started it around November and finished it early of the following year towards the end of January, okay? So they kind of finished, they kind of started the budgets around November of the previous year and then finished it a few months later, kind of ranging from Jan the end of January through the beginning of March, okay? So guys, that's the reason I've been telling you that the rate cannot change this year. It's because they are we ha they have to finish and approve and complete the 2020 budget, which is going to not be complete and it will roll into next year. They'll probably finish it sometime around you know close to February, something like that. Okay, and that's that's why I wanted to strongly tell you this, just so that you guys aren't misled. Okay, so you know where you stand, you know what you're waiting on, and you have. You, you can clearly see the facts, okay? So we are waiting on the 2020 budget. It has to be complete and approved before the rate can change because a lot of the money that's for the rate change or that pertains to the rate change, such as Article 148, CL, reconstruction, all of that money is going to come from the 2020 budget, okay? So that's what we're waiting on. Now, um, let's let's dissect this a little bit. Let's Let's see... Let's let's look at some information here. Let's see if we can break this down, okay? Now, this part is my opinion and should not be used for financial advice, okay? If if the here's let's just lay out a lot of the facts right now cuz there's kind of a little bit of a rough timeline here, okay? Notice how we also know that we're waiting on the formation of the government. So I'm going to bring the, even that into this. Notice how at last parliamentary term which kind of ran, ran, usually parliamentary terms, guys, are four months. They added July, so they added a fifth month in there, but the last parliamentary term, guys, would have went from March through June, so March, April, May, June, there's your four months. Notice how during last parliamentary term, they completed part of the formation of the government. They put the, um, the uh, interior and defense minister in there in the last term. During this term, in, in my opinion, what it looks like they're going to do is remove the proxies, get the proxies out by their back wall date of, and this is per the news, of October 24th, and then they'll probably get the special grades into their positions. They're already voted in. They just need to assume their job duties and their positions, okay? Then, so then what they'll probably do is that'll leave the education minister remaining and in my opinion, they'll probably put the education minister in place after they finish the formation of the government in Q1 of next year. So, so right now, the number one thing we're looking at is for them to tackle the budget. The budget's probably going to go from roughly November of this year, it, okay, through approximately February-ish of next year, okay, and that would that would leave March remaining. And so, so probably sometime in through March is when they will finish the education minister. That will complete the formation of the government as long as they get the proxies out and get the special grades into their positions during the, this current term that we're in, okay? And, and remember, guys, if they, if they have intentions, and I'm, right now I am not giving you a date. I, I'm, basing, I'm basing thoughts on their actions. So here's my point. If they have intentions of changing the rate in Q1 of next year, okay, they, remember guys, I've strongly told you this is linked to accounting periods. You want proof? Okay, over the last 30 years, 98% of the rate changes have always occurred at the end of April, on April 27th, 28th, and 29th, because the IMF's fiscal year starts May 1st. So the IMF positioned the timing of those rate changes over the last 30 years to, to happen towards the end of the IMF's fiscal year, okay, to position the money in the finances for the IMF's starting point of their fiscal year, okay? And notice how Kuwait did theirs towards the end of Q1. They did it on March 24th of 91, towards the end of Q1 to position those funds for Q2. It's that simple. And guys, this is not a small little tiny rate change. It's a massive one. There, it's, a large, it's a movement of a very large amount of money, so it has to be linked to an accounting period. 
but because of how much money is involved with this and how much money is being moved. It has to be linked to accounting periods, okay? So what they would basically do is if, if they're, if they're, again, if their intentions are to do it in Q1, then you would most likely see, probably see it somewhere around the second half of March after they finish the, the budget approval process and finish, finish the formation of that government sometime throughout the March timeframe. So that's where we're at guys. The number one thing we're looking at at the moment that's, that's an additional item that's been added to the setting of the stage process again is the budget approval. The, the rate cannot change until the 2020 budget is done and approved because of the monies in it that are needed and, and that money has to be allocated for, for payments regarding that rate change, okay? That's where we're at, guys. Have a great day and an amazing weekend, and take care.